everybody and welcome to my channel or welcome back if you've been here before and today we're going to be doing a review on the BH Cosmetics Ashley Tisdale collaboration uh, I have all three of the Illuminate palettes right here and we are going to talk about each and every one of them I will also be inserting photos of each of the swatches of the palettes so, without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so first we're going to talk about the Beach Goddess palette. Now, they all have this, this little mirror in them, which is very nice. Packaging, beautiful. I love the pink and white with the gold accents. Actually, this light pink, white, gold, and then a mauve color are actually the colors um, that I chose for our wedding. So... That's cool, but that was a side note. Let's get back to the palette. Okay, so beautiful, beautiful layout. Now, as you can see here, there is a lot of fallout um, and kickback when you put in a brush. If you put in a brush in here, I mean, I mean, it, it, it's just a lot. And if, if the shadows are wonderful, I don't mind that. I can live with it. Dirty palette, nobody really sees my palettes, so not a big deal. But they have to be a top-notch shadow. Sorry, BH, I was looking forward to this so much, but really let me down. Now, one of the problems that I have with these palettes is their pigmentation when you swatch them is beautiful. And then, when you put it on your eyes and you blend it out, it does not stay like that. So I am going to put in a photo of the swatches of this palette here for you, right here. Okay, so you saw the swatches, and they are thebomb.com, but let me show you something, okay? Okay, I'm going to swatch Maui here, and that is what it looks like, okay? I'm going to put Maui on my hand, and this is what the swatch looks like. Chunky, okay? So you think it's a little chunky, a little chalky, okay? You go to blend this guy out, like you were to blend it on your eye. Um, you can barely tell where it was. And for a shimmer shadow, I want the pigment to be there. I want to still see it when I blend things into it. I don't want it to leave. That was a huge issue for me. And I'm just going to swatch a few more here. I've got Cabo. Here, that's the swatch of Cabo. Put it here on my hand. Chalky. Blend this out. And they're hard to blend out. As you can see, there's still that line right there. And I am really blending. Can you even see where it was? Really? No, you can't. That is something that I do not like. This is from BH Cosmetics. I love their brushes. But, um, to be honest with you, I wasn't sure what to expect because these are my first BH Cosmetics palettes. And I was really hoping for big things because I absolutely am in love, I mean in love, with their brushes. But, this was not a first good impression for me. Enough said about that one. That was Beach Goddess. And the next one I'm going to talk about is Goddess, okay? This palette was the one I was most looking forward to. I really wanted a purple and like a pink in there. And so this is what the Goddess palette looks like. Again, has the nice mirror here. But <clears throat> this one 
wasn't as bad, okay? I'm gonna insert a clip of the um, swatches of this palette as well, right here. Okay, now that we've looked at the swatches, we are gonna do a little work here. I'm gonna tell you right now, this is my favorite palette of all of them. Um, this one wasn't as much of a letdown as the others. So, uh, we are just gonna get right into it. Let's get dirty. So, I'm gonna take Kim H right here, which is the first one down here. And that is what the swatch looks like, pretty patchy, but this applies, if you pack it on with your finger, you're going to get a beautiful, I used this in my inner corner um, when I did a look, and I will actually insert the clip of the look that I did here after I swatch all three of the colors I used on that look. So... This one I used um, kind of in the middle of the lid, also had to pack this on. So I did not use a brush um, with anything but the shade Priscilla in the look that I created. Uh, this is what that looks like. Both beautiful, both more pigmented. Um, overall, these shadows worked for me. Okay, so not a complete fail. But they're all pretty chalky, so that wasn't something that I was very pleased with. But again, as you can see, I swatched this. And I'm just going to do a little blend kind of with these. And they are harder to blend out, the lines. Um, can be pretty harsh as you can see um, so you do have to do a lot of work when you blend but blend it out they're still not great I just use these like I said I packed them on with my finger uh, here here and then I did actually pack on with my finger on the outer corner with the shade Priscilla which is the brown color here and um, then I just took my Sephora pointed crease brush and I just blended it out and it looks stunning. I got lots of compliments on my makeup so that was a plus for me and we're just gonna move on. Overall I like this palette. Not gonna not gonna lie, this would be something that I would use again. So that is great because um, even though I did get these on sale, I still did use my own money to purchase these. So, you know, everything adds up. So this, again, is the Goddess palette. And I will be using this again. Overall, most pleased with this palette. Okay, so this is the Night Goddess palette, and this is what that looks like right here. And as you can see, there is a lot of fallout, and overall, I was not really pleased. The Beach Goddess, the Night Goddess palettes, I wouldn't use them again. Um for something that's really important. Maybe playing around with in everyday looks because they're not very pigmented as far as blending out, but as you can see, they're just, um, they're really chalky and chunky. I hate to use that word for it, but it, they're just chunky. And this is a really dark color. I expect it to look dark on the eyes, right? Really patchy, very hard to blend. You can see, I mean, I'm going really hard. I'm going to even use the bigger one. Going really hard at blending it. Still, huge harsh line. <laughs> BH, I really, really was expecting something good. Ashley Tisdale. 
this was just something that didn't work for me. And most of the other shades in here as well are the same. Just patchy, hard to blend, and I can't, I haven't come up with a look that I like. And I've been playing with these for a while now, just trying to see and give you guys the best review that I can. I'm going to give the Goddess palette um, a thumbs up. And I'm going to give the Night Goddess a thumbs down. And as the Beach Goddess palette gets a thumbs down for me as well. So that is today's Hotter Dot review of the Ashley Tisdale palettes in collaboration with BH Cosmetics. So I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to click the subscribe button below. Thanks so much everybody.